वेलकम टू माई चैनल कमल सेतु इन टूडेज लेक्चर सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द मेरिस मॉडल सो फॉर सिंपल प्रिसाइज एंड ईजी लेक्चर सेशन डू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल अकॉर्डिंग टू मैरिस इन बिगर बिजनेस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन द मैनेजमेंट एंड द ओनर्स आर डिफरेंट सो देयर गोल्स आर ऑल्सो डिफरेंट फ्रॉम ईच अदर द मैनेजमेंट वॉन्ट्स हाई सैलरीज जॉब सिक्योरिटी प्रमोशंस एंड सम अदर सिमिलर बेनिफिट्स वेयर इज ऑन द अदर हैंड द शेयर होल्डर्स और द ओनर्स वॉन्ट द कंपनी टू अर्न मोर प्रॉफिट्स सो मैरिज इन हिज मॉडल सेज दैट फॉर अचीविंग द गोल्स ऑफ बोथ द मैनेजमेंट एंड द ओनर्स अ बैलेंस्ड ग्रोथ मैक्सीमाइजेशन अप्रोच शुड बी फॉलोड बाय द बिजनेस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो वी विल डिस्कस दिस मॉडल इन डिटेल according to this model in order to achieve the balanced growth maximization gd and gc has to be maximized here gd is the growth for demand of a particular product of a firm and uh, gc is the growth of capital supply as gd is the management function so the management will focus on increasing gd if the demand of product is increasing it means that the steps taken by management are very fruitful and uh, they are earning more profits for the organization hence the management wants to increase demand of a particular product so that the management salaries and benefits also get increased the gc which is the ut utility function of the owners so here the owners want more supply of uh, capital so according to maris both gd and uh, gc should increase at a same rate with this both management and the owners or the shareholders will be fully satisfied so this is what maris explained in his model now let's also discuss uh, this model with the help of diagrams as gd is a function of uh, d and m bar here d is the rate of uh, diversification Diver diversification means when a company changes its uh, product line suppose a uh, automobile company changes its uh, product line to telecommunication sector or uh, retail business so uh, here we call that uh, that company has diversified uh, its business and m is the average profit margin here we have taken m bar as m is considered constant so this profit margin m has a negative relationship with the advertisement and uh, research and development the negative relation means that if the company spend more on r and d and uh, advertisement the profit of the firm will decrease and similarly the profit increases if the spending on uh, research and development or the advertisement is less so as shown in the figure there is a positive relation between the growth of demand and diversification but with the time this relation becomes negative on the other hand if more is spent on advertisement and research the growth rate of the product will increase so as shown in the figure 2 the gd shifts upwards when the profit margin is decreasing and uh, gd shifts downward when the profit margin increases so here a bar is the financial security constraint and d and m bar we have already discussed so as the financial security of the firm is fixed in this case as it depends upon the management attitude and uh, decisions so shifting of gc will be only due to the average profit margin that is m so there is a positive relationship between gc and m in this case as shown in figure 2 as profit margin increases the curve will shift upwards and when the profit margin decreases the gc curve will shift downwards before closing this lecture session let's summarize the maris model as maris told that there should be a balanced growth so combining previous figures we get this figure 
on joining pqr we get the balanced growth curve the point q where the balanced growth is highest is the equilibrium point